Hi, I'm Sandra Lanshin Chu. I am a Chinese medicine practitioner. I do acupuncture, Chinese herbs, facial gua sha, gua sha, cupping, all the things. And I use all those practices to treat skin disorders and treat cosmetic concerns. You all know me from teaching facial gua sha and I love that you guys are loving it so much. So I wanted to show you some more treasures from Chinese medicine. I wanna share with you scalp stimulation, which may be this new trend you've been hearing about with scalp care. But this is not a new trend at all in Asian culture. We've actually been doing scalp stimulation and scalp care forever, especially when it comes to hair care. Did you know that head and scalp massage is especially relaxing to the parasympathetic nervous system? When you get a massage, that scalp portion of the massage is often, at least for me, the best part. It's so deeply blissful. And I just don't get why is that always the shortest part? In facial acupuncture rejuvenation treatment, we often needle the scalp and treat the scalp to create a lifting effect on the face. Everything I'll be showing you in this video, you can do with your fingers and hands, but I'll be using the Lanshin Scalp Stimulator because I love the effect of tools. Feel free to skip around the chapters of this video and just use it as a resource again and again. Unlike gua sha on the face or body, you can apply scalp stimulation to dry scalp and hair. This is the easiest, most accessible way to enjoy scalp stimulation. If you use scalp treatment products like oils or serums, stimulating your scalp on top of them will amplify the results of those products. So if you like to use anything on your scalp, you can apply that first. Also, many of the techniques I'll be showing you get to your neck so you can prep your skin with oil or moisturizer there. Use caution and consult with a physician before practicing if you have chronic health issues like vertigo, high blood pressure, chronic severe migraines, or a previous history of stroke. Also consult with your dermatologist or your Chinese medicine practitioner who specializes in dermatology if you have a scalp condition like psoriasis or seborrheic dermatitis that is severe. There are several different ways that you can apply stimulation to your scalp. These are three of my favorite techniques. They're easy, they're effective, and it's the best way to use your Lanshin scalp stimulator. The first technique is circling. This is acupressure. Apply gentle to firm pressure on your scalp. Circle clockwise five to 10 times, then reverse and circle the other direction five to 10 times. The next technique is stroking. This is gua sha. If you have weak or thinning hair, I recommend that you skip this technique or use it sparingly to prevent hair breakage. If you have naturally textured hair, you might prefer the other two techniques. If you have tight curly hair, you can try this and see if it works for you. Use the teeth of the stimulator or your fingers and stroke along the lines of the energy channels or anywhere on your scalp that craves relaxation or softening. Apply five to 10 strokes in each area with gentle to firm pressure, depending on your scalp and hair condition. The third technique is tapping. This is a very stimulating technique that wakes up the chi and blood. Gently tap along the energy line using a relatively quick motion going up and down the area for as long as feels good to you. To help ground your energy, start on your hands and your neck to open the energy lower in the body. Acupuncture points in the hands help resolve issues affecting the head. This is because in Chinese medicine, this extremity mirrors or analogs this extremity. Large intestine four. Find a tense tight spot on the small muscle between your thumb and your forefinger. Circle one of the teeth in one direction five to 10 times. Then reverse and circle the other direction five to 10 times. Then gua sha stroke along the bone of the pointer finger five to 10 times. Heart eight, pericardium eight. Next, place the teeth on the palm side of your hand in line with your thumb. Circle five to 10 times in one direction, then reverse the other way. Then gua sha stroke from the base of your wrist 
towards your fingers five to ten times. This area houses a couple acupuncture points, pericardium 8, lao gong, and heart 8, shao fu. These have a very strong relaxing effect, or what we call calming the shen, or spirit. Small intestine channel. On the side of your hand, gua sha stroke from the base of your pinky to the crook of your wrist. You will actually hit several points on the small intestine channel here, which are helpful for relieving issues of the neck, back, and head. Now check how you feel. Isn't it amazing what a little acupressure and some gua sha on your hands can do? Neck stroking. Now let's open up the energy channels in our neck to prepare for the scalp. Our neck is literally a gateway for circulation and energy and nutrition to reach the head and the face. Make sure your skin is prepped with an oil or moisturizer for glide. Start at the base of your neck and glide all the way up to the occiput or the base of your skull. Do this five to 10 times. This stroke really helps you hit those upper neck muscle attachments and it feels really good. the occiput. Place it down horizontally along the base of your skull at the top of your neck. Circle in one direction 10 to 20 times, then reverse direction and circle 10 to 20 times the other way. This is one of my absolute favorite areas to stimulate with this tool. Now, if you have time to continue, you can apply tapping along the same area. And finally, you can stroke the tool in a gua sha style glide from the occiput up into the scalp in short strokes. I love working with the occiput. It's the key to opening blood flow to the head and it relieves neck tension. How good does that feel? The dew governing channel sits at the center line of the scalp. Start from the base of your skull and apply circling along the dew channel until you reach the front of your scalp. Circle five to 10 times in one direction, then five to 10 times in the other. If you have time, you can also apply tapping along the dew channel. This next part's optional. If you have normal to strong hair and it works for your hair type, you can also gua sha stroke along the dew channel. Line the teeth horizontally to your scalp and glide from the front hairline to the crown of your head a few times. Then stroke from the crown down to your occiput. In Chinese medicine, we say that the dew energy channel is the sea of all the yang energy in the body literally the energy that gets you out of bed, but also the energy that enlivens all your body's important functions. Urinary bladder channel. The urinary bladder energy line is only about an inch away from the center dew channel, and it's bilateral. Start from the base of your skull and apply circling along the urinary bladder channel until you reach the front of your scalp. At each point, circle five to 10 times in one direction, then five to 10 times in the other. If you have time, you can also tap along the urinary bladder channel. This is optional. If you have normal to strong hair and it works for your hair type, you can also gua sha stroke the urinary bladder channel. But note that if you did this on the dew channel as I showed you earlier, you'll have already done it. So you can apply more if you love it, or you can skip it and move on. Glide from the front hairline to the crown of your head a few times. Then stroke from the crown down to your occiput. The urinary bladder channel is one that I use often in acupuncture treatment to boost the immune system, help relieve headaches and sinus congestion, and create a lifting effect for the face. Gallbladder channel. The gallbladder energy channel is also bilateral and it runs along the sides of the head in a few branches. To keep it simple, just think about working with the side of your head. Start from the base of your skull and apply circling along the gallbladder channel around your ear until you reach the front. Circle five to 10 times in one direction and then five to 10 times in the other. 
I love working with this arc around the ear, but if you'd like to work with the other branch of the gallbladder channel, it's a few inches up. If you have time, you can also tap along the gallbladder channel. The next part is optional. If you have normal to strong hair and it works for your hair type, you can gua sha stroke the gallbladder channel. Place your tool vertically at the side of your head like this. Now stroke all the way back around your ear to your occiput and onto your neck to finish. I work with the gallbladder channel a lot in acupuncture treatment, especially when treating chronic migraine type headaches as well as tension headaches. I also find it helpful for releasing a tight jaw, neck or shoulder, and this also helps create a lifting effect on the face. Practicing daily for 10 to 15 minutes is great, but even two to three times a week will feel helpful. Please be sure to hydrate well before and after working with your scalp. Stimulating your scalp can significantly free up blood flow to your head. And sometimes that can make you a little lightheaded or dizzy. So if that happens to you, stop and look for the chapter on the hand and follow the instructions there. This will help you ground your energy. In Chinese medicine, we actually say that the hair is the continuation of blood. So that shows you how important good, strong, healthy blood flow is to a healthy scalp and healthy hair. When it comes to hair loss and thinning, stress can play a really big part of that. So that's why it's important to think about bringing down and really relaxing your nervous system. So doing scalp stimulation at home can be a really effective way to quickly relax and slow down your brain waves. Opening the energy channels on the scalp really improves the chi, the energy, the blood and the fluid flow into the scalp. And that has positive spillover effects onto your face. Your scalp muscles connect into your facial muscles. So when you relax them, it also benefits the muscles of your face, which is the scalp's next door neighbor. The Lanshin Scalp Stimulator Tool. I had custom shaped in jade, and it's a design that hits on what I think is important when stimulating the scalp. Handcrafted in thick Shuyan jade, it's the most durable of all the stones for facial massage tools. This thickness is much greater than most of the jade scalp tools on the market, which also helps provide a stronger stimulation and be less prone to breakage. Jade stone is easier to clean compared to materials like wood, and when used on the scalp, is less hard and painful compared to metals like steel. The five teeth of the Lanshin scalp stimulator work five at a time so that you can cover more of your scalp at one time. Although this tool looks like it, it's not actually designed to be a comb for the hair. The wide spacing of the tool makes it truly a tool for stimulating the scalp. And this matters for people with thinning or weak hair. The wide spacing also allows hair of all natural textures and styles and those with tighter natural curls to use it with ease. Taking care of your Lanshin scalp stimulator is simple and easy. Just wash it with hot water and soap and scrub really well between the teeth. Because jade is a stone that can break if it's dropped with a lot of force, consider holding your tool low to the sink when you're washing it, just in case you drop it. Dry it well and store it in your Lanshin carrying case. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you loved learning about Chinese medicine as much as I love practicing it. I know this is a lot of information, but you don't have to do everything at once. You can take this slowly and just start with small, easy bites. Please like and subscribe and send your feedback and questions to the comments below. To purchase the Lanshin Scalp Stimulator and the products featured here, go to lanshin.com and I'll see you in the next video for more beauty at ease.